welcome back to this video tutorial we can discuss about array of pointers to string that means using character pointer array for accessing string uh, variables okay So, an array of pointers to string is an array of character pointers where each pointer point to the first character of the string. First character of a string means the base address of the string. Consider this one declaration and initialization of a character pointer array. That is char star sports of 5. This sports is a pointer array. Pointer means character pointer array with size 5. So, using this character pointers, here we can point five different strings. The five different strings are initialized here. Golf, hockey, football, cricket and shooting. Okay. So, the memory representation is like this. Suppose our golf is starting from address location 1000. Here it stores the uh, string golf first. And, it the, and the end of this golf is indicated by this null character available at location 1004. And from 1005, it stores the second string end at 1011. Right? And 1012, it starts the storing of our third string and end at 1020. And from 1021, here it is the fourth string and end at 1028. And at 1029, start the fifth string. And at 1037. Okay. Now, we can use this character pointer for pointing these five different strings. That is, the first character pointer is sports of zero. Which pointing to the starting address of this first string. That is 1000. Sports 1 pointing to this location, 1005, the second strings starting address and so okay here in this example all the strings are represented in continuous memory location but in all cases we can't guarantee that all the strings comes in continuous memory location but we can say or we can uh, we can guarantee that all the characters in a single string in a single string always comes in continuous memory location but all the strings uh, always all the strings we can't guarantee all the strings comes in continuous memory location based on the availability of free space in our memory they may be comes in continuous location as like this or sometimes present in different location okay this is depends on the system memory right so now we can consider program example to understand how to uh, display the strings using character pointers okay so consider this program the same character pointer array sports initialized with this five strings right sports of zero pointing to this sports of one pointing to this sports of two pointing to this sports of three pointing here sports of four pointing here and using this loop, we can first display the value of string. So, here, notice, uh, please note this difference. In this character type pointers, we don't want to use the asterisk symbol or the indirection pointer in order to display the value using this pointer. So, note the difference. We don't want to use the asterisk symbol or the indirection pointer that is the asterisk symbol. We don't want to use here in order to display the value. We want to use simply the name of our pointer in case of character type pointer. Right? In case of integer and floating point type pointer, we must use the indirection operator here in order to display the value pointed by the pointer. Here we don't want to use that indirection operator. That is the asterisk symbol. Okay. So, after that, using the second printf statement, we can display the address of each of the string. That means the starting address of the string. Okay. Now, we can display it. Right. Like this. First string, golf. Starting address is 4206673. Okay. 73, 74, 75, 76 and 77. 
these are the bytes continuous bytes used for storing this golf after that uh, 7 8 7 9 the second string starting from 7 8 7 3 7 4 7 5 7 6 and 7 7 used for golf and from the next location itself from 7 8 itself it starts storing second string 7 8 7 9 8 0 8 1 8 2 8 3 8 4 used for our second string and from third 8 5 from the next byte itself start the storage of our third string and so on so in this particular example it is clear that all the strings are available in continuous memory location but it's not always we can't expect such memory allocation always and is based on the availability of free space in our system memory okay thank you